You've probably watched a movie or two about a group of unsuspecting wanderers making their way through the unknown and encountering a lion, a bear, a cheetah, or even a dinosaur. The group then sprints to safety in an epic chase that has viewers clenching with excitement. Spoiler alert, they always make it to safety. Which begs the question, are humans really that fast? Usain Bolt is largely regarded as the fastest man in the world, but even he couldn't outrun a cheetah. Okay, a cheetah's a pretty fast animal to beat, but even at top speed, the fastest human beings in the world wouldn't be able to outrun several land, marine, and sky animals. We're taking a look at some of the fastest creatures on Earth, but before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Inforama for fun and informative content you wouldn't want to miss. All right, let's get started. Beating the Average Human Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt made history at the 2009 100-meter sprint by clocking in at 9.58 seconds. A group of Belgian scientists used lasers to measure Bolt's performance at various parts of the race and deduced that the Jamaican sprinter had a top speed of 27.33 miles per hour. While Usain Bolt is undeniably the fastest man in the world, is he the fastest creature too? For context, the average human being clocks in at a walking speed of approximately 3 to 5 miles per hour. That's just enough to outrun a small insect or a notoriously slow average-sized animal. You might be wondering, ants seem to run incredibly fast. Well, an ant has an average speed of approximately 0.3 miles per hour or a top speed of 0.6 miles per hour. They only appear fast because they're constantly running, and their swift motion is comparable to their size. So the average human can outrun tiny insects, ants, centipedes, and wasps by a long shot. They can also outrun animals known for being slow, koalas, sloths, and tortoises. Koalas can reach up to 1.6 miles per hour, sloths come up to a maximum of 0.2 miles per hour, and a giant tortoise can catch up to a maximum speed of 0.5 miles per hour. Notice how we're talking about their maximum speeds. But what about predators? The common idea exists that animals, particularly the ones that are more likely to become prey for other animals, need to run for their literal lives. What about sloths? Interestingly, sloths manage to keep themselves alive on account of their slow speed, beating a runner. All right, back to the fastest creatures. Let's say you decide to kick things up a bit. You want to actually race against land creatures. We'll assume that you're clocking in at an average speed of 15 miles per hour. That's about the average speed of a healthy adult runner. At this speed, you'll be able to outrun a lot more than ants and sloths. You're, however, still in the minor leagues. 15 miles per hour is enough to outrun a few rabbits, mice, spiders, and snakes. But you're running just as fast as the six-lined race runner, that is, a lizard, beating an Olympian. You're absolutely determined on being the fastest creature in the world and will train days on end to get there. Let's say you adopt the same regimen as Usain Bolt, that is, train every single day for years with little to no breaks in between. You adapt your diet to meet your goals and hire the best trainers in the world. You're giving it your all. The average Olympian will run at a top speed of between 25 to 27 miles per hour. That's about the same speed as the average traffic car in a metropolitan city. Interesting to think scientists made that comparison. At Olympic speeds, you'll be able to outrun several land animals, elephants, squirrels, and even polar bears. However, you're still no match for a grizzly bear that can reach a top speed of approximately 34 miles per hour. That's right, the common Hollywood plot where campers run from bears is nothing more than just a plot. Humans can't outrun bears. Another interesting fact, bears can climb up trees. Sure, they'll struggle and some might not make it up the trees, but they're not novices either. The only way to safely evade a bear is to throw something in their way. Basically, you'll only ever win a race against a bear if you cheat beating a cyclist. By now, it's pretty clear that human beings can't outrun most animals. They're probably amongst the slowest creatures on Earth. That's right, Usain Bolt would come up dead last if he were in a race with the fastest creatures on Earth. But what humans lack in physical abilities, they make up for in ingenuity. Hey, if animals can run on all fours, we get to have an edge too, right? 
We'll switch gears now and say that you're cycling at a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour. That's enough to outrun a grizzly bear, a jackal, a dog, and most canines. But while you'll be able to beat some of the deadliest creatures in nature, you're still far behind brown hares. These distant relatives of the rabbits can clock at a maximum of up to 50 miles per hour. While cycling, you'll be able to surpass the common house cat that can reach a maximum speed of approximately 30 miles per hour, but they're no match for the feline family lions can run at 50 miles per hour, tigers can run at 60 miles per hour, and the king of speed, the cheetah, can run at an amazing 75 miles per hour. Felines are known for being the fastest creatures on Earth. The cheetah is in a league of its own with a top speed of 60 miles per hour from zero in approximately three seconds. However, felines are the world's fastest short-range animals. That is, they can maintain their top speeds for less than a few kilometers. Which is why you'll often find lions, tigers, and cheetahs creeping up to their prey before they actually pounce at them. The lion's common prey, for example, the wildebeest has a top speed comparable to that of a lion 50 miles per hour. They can, however, maintain this speed for longer races. The world's fastest long-range animal is the pronghorn, or the American antelope. The pronghorn is amongst the cheetah's favorite meals. However, they can outrun cheetahs if they have a head start of not more than a few seconds. They clock in at a top speed of approximately 55 miles per hour, but can maintain an average speed of 35 miles per hour for longer races. Fastest Land Creature The question remains, who is the fastest land creature? The question isn't who, but what? Scientists and engineers have collaborated on jet vehicles that operate at turbo speeds. These supersonic vehicles can hike up to approximately 767 miles per hour. Does that number sound familiar? Well, it's the speed of sound. Jet engines can break through the sound barrier and are therefore technically the fastest land creatures. But what about the ocean? Beating a swimmer. We've talked about land animals, but let's switch it up with marine animals. Humans have a much harder time sprinting in the water than they do on land. This is because of several reasons. Humans have hair that slows their flow and aren't exactly streamlined creatures, and water is a lot denser than air. The average swimmer without proper swimming gear will clock in at a maximum speed of approximately 3 miles per hour. That's just enough to pass by eels, crabs, and starfishes. Not exactly the scariest marine creatures. You know what's scary? A shark. Again, a common notion is that humans can outswim sharks. Can they? They can't. With proper swimming gear, that is, something that can cover your hair and streamline your body, you'll boost your average speed up to 8 miles per hour. Sharks can swim at a top speed of 30 miles per hour. Yep, you'd be a goner. That is unless you jump onto a sailboat at the very last minute. Sailboats have average speeds of 18 miles per hour, still a little over half of how fast a shark can swim, but sharks can only swim at their top speed for short intervals. You're in the clear. You're also faster than penguins, otters, sea lions, and dolphins. If we traded in the sailboat for a cruise ship, you'd be traveling at 35 miles per hour. That's more than the octopus, who can only swim at a maximum of 25 miles per hour. More legs don't mean faster speed. Becoming the fastest in the sea. If you're determined on beating out all the fishing creatures in the sea, you might want to hop on a jet ski that can take you up to a top speed of 90 miles per hour. Congratulations, you're now the fastest creature in the sea. Granted, it's in a jet ski. At 90 miles per hour, you beat the fastest marine creature, the black marlin, by 10. They can reach maximum speeds of 80 miles per hour, the fastest in the skies. Lastly, we'll talk about the great blue sky. Who gets to be the king in the clouds? Interestingly enough, most flying birds can only reach a maximum speed of 30 miles per hour. That too, on the higher end. The fastest flying creatures are the falcons, the eagles, the bats, and the white-throated needletails. Falcons can reach horizontal speeds of 60 miles per hour. Eagles have them beat at 75 miles per hour. Bats can reach up to 100 miles per hour. And the white-throated needletail can reach up to 105 miles per hour. Let's say you're trying to catch up to them on a tiny plane. You'll reach up to 124 miles per hour and beat out many flying creatures. 
However, if the Falcon decides to take a nosedive, it can reach a maximum vertical speed of 240 miles per hour. Ready to call it quits? Don't just yet, because commercial planes can take you up to 600 miles per hour. So cheetahs are the fastest short-range land animals, pronghorn are the fastest long-range land animals, the black merlin is the fastest marine creature, the white-throated needletail is the fastest horizontal flying animal, and the falcon is the fastest vertically flying animal. All right, let us know in the comments which fastest animal you liked. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Inforama, and check out some of our other videos. We'll see you in the next one.